Okay, for you Americans out there, happy Thanksgiving. Um, you know, Thanksgiving, where we first came over and we like made friends with these Indians and then later killed them and stole their land. Oh wait, that's a whole different story of history. But anyways, today's video is brought to you by SCD Key. They're having some killer Black Friday deals. We'll have a couple of coupons down below, 10% off software, 3% off games. So if you wanna check out their Black Friday deals and get yourself some games or some software on the cheap, then make sure you check out that link. Now, with that said, the holiday season is coming up. We all know Black Friday's tomorrow. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff going on and on the internet. Um, as far as Black Friday goes, these deals are just constant. Unless you're actually going into a store and fighting the crowds to try to get that, you know, 90-inch TV screen for $200, um, you know, most of the deals you can get online. Most of the stuff I got's online. And so we're going to bring you really five really cool products. And each one of these products actually has merit. Um, each one of these companies, a couple you may know, some you don't know. A lot of people just ask us if we can show their products. And if they're a good product and worth the money and we check them out and we think so, hey, we'll make a top five video. So first up, we have the Oni Kuma headphones. Now these things are $22. Let's just start off right there. Maybe $23, $22.99. These things are very low price. And you guys know during the holiday season, getting somebody a gift that's right in that $25 pocket is really cool. Now these particular headphones are simulated 7.1 headphones, but um, some cool things about them though are, so we take them out of the box, not too much in the box. So we get the headphones, I think. We got a little manual right here. Uh, anything else? Nope, I think it's just the headphones. Now. Check it out. Under 25 bucks. Really nicely well-made headphones that are very flexible. The pads are very nice. They fit on your head. They're actually pretty light. They're not extra heavy. They have a built-in microphone, which is retractable. So you can pull the microphone in and out and the microphone doesn't even sound that bad either. Um, and you can use it with PS4, you can use it with an Xbox, you can use it with your phone. It has a button on it so you can mute it. So if you wanna answer your phone or do something like that while you have the headphones on, you can do that, no problem. Now, the audio on these headphones, obviously it's not Bose quality, but for a gift that's under 25 bucks, they definitely do the job. So if you know a kid out there who's looking for some headphones, he just wants to game, have a good time, be able to talk to his friends out there and you're not even sure whether he has a ps2 an xbox a pc you don't understand what this kid got well guess what this gift he can use them in all of those things so there's no problem whatsoever so if he's going to game on his pc he's going to play with his xbox or his ps4 all that stuff that connects to it um, if he wants to use it with his phone doesn't matter what kind of phone he has he can answer the phone he can clip it off when the, when he wants to talk to the people he can mute it when he doesn't want to deal with stuff so all in all for the price these are a great deal they're very flexible they're adjustable the headband on them is very, very comfortable. Honestly, these are an editor's choice product. If I was gonna do a video and do just a top five just on headphones under $25, these headphones right now would definitely be included. So if you guys are interested in checking these out, um, we'll have a link down below. You can get some for yourself. This company has been around a long time. They've sold like, I think like 800,000 sets of headphones. They're one of Amazon's choice products. So if you're looking for something, like I said, under 25 bucks, a solid gift and you don't know what that that person has well guess what if they're a gamer of any caliber these will work with them now this next product in a lot of ways it's similar to the other product that we just took a look at and what do I mean by that well this particular product is brand new from creative and it's the brand new g6 DAC now this thing is a really nice product 130 DB 32 bit 384 kilohertz DAC that's right Stereo simulation with 7.1 audio, um, really neat thing. Plus, like I said, it'll work with your Xbox, it'll work with your PC, it'll work with your PlayStation, which is just like the headphones that we took a look at previously. It'll work with all those same things. So if you know somebody out there, once again, who's an audiophile and you wanna get them a really nice gift, this is a really, really nice product. The, everything, the engineering behind it, um, it has technology built inside of it, so no matter how loud the sound gets, that it doesn't distort. It'll work with anything all the way up to like audio grade headphones. So if you have like 600 ohm headphones, it's gonna power those. It's also, it'll go all the way down to low to that, um, excuse me, all the way down to lower ohms, all the way up to that. So depending on the different types of headphones that you have, it's going to automatically adjust to those type of headphones. So if you do have really good, you know, studio grade audio file headphones it's also going to power them now here's a little box right here for the g6 i'll go ahead and just pop the cap right here and get that out of there 
Very, very compact unit. Really, really small right here in my hand. Just let me see what else comes in here in the box. I don't know what else is in there. Looks like there's uh, something. Let's see here, let me pull the thing here. Okay, yes, there are a few more little things that come inside of the box. We've got a, a USB cable. So we got a USB cable right here. And then we also have an SPDIF cable right here. This is an optical cable, really good stuff. So if you have optical speakers, you can hook this up directly and get digital sound. Digital sound is really, really killer for music. In games, it's okay, but honestly, for music, if you have those type of speakers, this connection is the absolute best you can have. Now, the controls and everything in this particular unit are very easy to use. They're all right here on the front. You've got a push button in right here, an adjustment switch right here. As far as your inputs and outputs go, you have headphones, you also have a mic, those are located right there on the front. And on the back, you see the USB charging port, you also see the line in and line out ports. On the right hand side, you'll notice that there's three different buttons. The first one is your scout button, the second is SBX, and the last one is your gain. And on the right hand side, you can clearly see that this unit supports Dolby Surround. But like I said earlier in the video, that surround is actually virtual 7.1. Unless you actually have a set of headphones that have that many speakers in them, everything's gonna be pretty much simulated 7.1. There are some you know, headphones out there that do have that inside of them, but there's not really that many. Now, additionally, inside of the box with the unit, you get a little bit more paperwork. You get this little tiny like sales guide, this little X thing, and then last but not least, this giant, uh, manual down here when we get over here this giant manual in every language you can imagine so uh there you go now like i said this is for an audiophile person a person who really wants to have the highest quality audio so if you know a person out there who's really into their music they like something they can stick in their backpack take wherever they want to go you know on the road wherever they want to go they can take this with them it'll plug into your phone it'll plug into your pc no matter what type of you know outlet that you have this unit will work with it which is really good now the g6 comes to market at a little bit under 160 dollars but if you know someone out there who's totally into their music and they like something that's portable like I said it's really small it'll fit right in your backpack it'll fit almost just in your pocket and you can take it wherever you want to go and if you got your headphones hey you're good to go so pretty much if you're a person who wants to cruise the beach go to the mountains wherever you want to go you've got a set of headphones that you like and you really think they're audiophile quality you can take this your phone and that and you can listen to the high quality music wherever you're at on the go like usual we'll have a link down below if you want to check out more information about this product for yourself or just get one for that person in your life whose is an audiophile music freak is this thing on no just kidding so check it out many people out there have TVs most of us have TVs I'm sure there's a few people out there who live in a cave or you know just up in the mountains or something just don't have a TV but I think most people out there today own a TV and with that said many of the TVs on the market including some of the TVs that are higher end the speakers that are inside of them, let's just face it, they suck. They're not very good. They're either tinny or they make your TV shake. I mean, there are obviously a few brands of TV out there that do have, you know, good sound that's built inside of them. But a lot of times you get a TV and you start listening to the sound. You're like, wow, I can't hear the voices. And so in order to hear the voices, you keep turning it up. And then when the music comes on, the music's so loud that you're like, your neighbors want to call the police on you and think that you're having a giant party at your house. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like your string to hear people talking but as soon as the music comes on or a commercial comes on it's like Wah! and you're in your face you're like oh my god what's going on hit the remote hit the remote so in that case the solution for that is getting a nice sound bar now today we're going to be looking at one from blitzwoof now this is a really nice particular sound bar for many different applications if you have a tv and it has you know sound that you don't like or you have a pc and you just want to have a sound bar on your desk or if you have a phone and you just want to connect to your phone and listen to your music in your room it'll work in all of those different capacities the Blitzwolf is a 35 inch 60 watt 2.1 soundbar that has Bluetooth 4.2 connectivity. So if you have any type of Bluetooth device, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a TV, like I said before, your phone or any other device, it'll hook up automatically to that. Plus, if you want to hook it up to your TV, there's also connections for coaxial, there's also SPDIF, um, and there's also USB. So depending on the type of device, there is a connectivity that you'll be able to connect it up to and then get up and going to it. Now, as far as the sound, goes being that it's 60 watts 
this thing actually pumps out a lot of sound and it also has a pretty nifty little remote control for operating it so you can sit back on your bed chill out and adjust the volume on it now when you're using this particular product with your TV the voices and everything are much clearer to hear than like I said on a lot of standard TVs it just stands out a lot better the music is a lot better and overall the sound quality is pretty good because you have two you know separate um, 30 watt speakers and a subwoofer all pumping out the sound and the design of this particular speaker is it has like a cavity a chamber inside of it which acts as a bass resonator so these speakers not only have good clarity they have a lot of bass to them as well I like this particular product. It's about $175 right now. Um, maybe there'll be even some better deals coming on Black Friday, but for right now, that's what it's at. It's actually a pretty good price. I've listened to some others from Kenwood and other brands that are like in the five and $600 range, and the sound really wasn't that much different whatsoever than this product by Blitzwoof. So like I said, if you're out there, you know somebody who just like to have a one single sound setup, which means if you know you have your PC and you just want a sound bar on your desk, you don't want to mess with anything else, you can use this for the application. If your TV, the sound sucks, you can use it for your TV. Or if you have a phone and you just like to come home and listen to some nice music, this thing's very, very unobtrusive. You guys can see, I mean, it's very, very nice. The design and everything is very, very clean on the back. You have all of your connection ports, very, very simple to hook up. Everything's laid out well. And honestly, the design is very nice. It's a quality design. Overall, the look of it, everything is pretty high tech. Now, as far as what comes in the box beyond just the product itself, you do get the sound bar. Like I said, the remote control that I was showing you a minute ago. Then there's an additional box right here. In this additional box, you've got all kinds of different plugs. You've got USB connectivity, you've got RCA connectivity. In fact, you've got a couple of different um, co coaxial R RCA cables. Even comes with the SPDIF cable. Um, and there's also just for hooking up to an audio source right here. So if you just want to hook it up to any kind of audio source that has this little tiny mini jack, you're good to go. Um, what else is in here? Okay. Oh, and also the user's manual. So if you got any questions about how to use it, how to hook it up, it'll all be inside of this little book. So there you go. Know somebody who needs a product like this. It'll be a great gift for Christmas. That is for sure. Like usual, I will have a link down below so you can check one out for yourself or buy one if you feel the need. All day long, people sit in front of their desk, whether they're working in front of their desk, whether they're playing on their PC. You know, you spend a lot of time sitting on your butt playing on your chair. And we all know that a lot of chairs that are all completely leather or PU leather and that kind of stuff, they make you sweat quite a bit. And having a chair that's a mixture of both that and mesh makes your sitting experience a lot better. Now, the only thing I can say to endorse this chair is that my cousin came over and visited me. And before I even had a chance to finish this video, that sucker took my chair. I mean, he truly, he was like, oh, I love that chair. I gotta have that chair. He wanted that chair. So that chair from Autofull is now bye-bye. Luckily though, we did get to film all of the good, you know, nice B-roll about that chair though, before he took it. So let's quickly take a look at this very nice chair from Autofull. It has a really nice design. You guys can see this particular one is in blue. Particular product comes to market right now at about $280. It's just as compatible though as any of the higher end chairs that you see out there. It's very comfortable to sit in. It has a very nice headrest. It has lumbar support. It's very easy to adjust. You can take the chair and adjust it all the way back. The head, the headrest itself is very comfortable. So if you want to lay back in your chair and get comfortable, you can do that. Um, as far as the side rails, they're pretty adjustable. They're not fully completely 3D, but they're but they're very nice and adjustable anyway. So you can get it to where it's pretty comfortable. Um, a lot of the chairs out there that I sit in, I feel that they're really just too hard and too stiff. Kind of like when you, know, you talk about the, the, you know, the grill going in the porch, you know, one's too hot, one's too cold, one's just perfect. I believe that this chair is pretty much right in the middle of all of those things. Um, it's a very, very comfortable chair. It's not too soft and it's not too hard. It's right in the middle. All of the stitching is very quality on this chair. 
It has a very nice five-star base. The wheels are very well made, so whether you're sliding across carpet or across a hardwood floor, um, you won't have trouble maneuvering around in the chair. All the controls for the chair are located on each side of the chair, so no matter what type of adjustment you're doing, you just simply click the controls. You can go up and down, back and forth. You can spin in a circle if you want. All those options are actually on the chair. Another nice thing about this chair is even though you're not going to be looking at the back of the chair, those people sitting behind you will be forced to look at the back of your chair and this chair looks really, really nice. Kind of looks like an arrow pointing down. In a lot of ways, this particular chair, the design of the color, reminds me a lot of Tron. If I was going to do a room build on Tron based stuff, I would definitely want to have this chair in my room. And like I said, my cousin Adrian came into my house and I have a lot of gaming chairs in my house. And after sitting Sitting in that one and playing in that one, he was like, hey man, I really want this chair. So I mean, that to me is kind of a pretty you know, good endorsement for the chair. It sits right in there in the middle price ranges, um, about $279. It's not $600, it's not $150, but honestly, most of those chairs that are like $140, $150, they're not anywhere near as well made as this. Um, the very fact that you get all of that mesh in the chair, so if you're sitting in the chair for a long hour, you're not going to get up and your back's not going to be all sweaty and uncomfortable, you know, from sitting in the chair for long periods of time. It's comfortable, it's mid-range priced. If you're looking for a really quality chair that's not gonna break the bank and still bring you a nice chair, we'll have a link down below where you can check out more information, buy one, or just check it out for yourself. Now last but not least on today's products, at first, when this company reached out to me at the product, I thought about it because I've got one of these products before and I kind of scoffed at it because it really didn't clean my carpet as well as I thought it would. The previous robot vacuum I, I had, it worked okay, but when I got my hands on this one over here, and this one's pretty neat too, the little D-Bot one, which is the one we're going to be checking out today, it actually cleans on hardwood floors, on marble floors, and guess what? Yes, it even cleans on carpet, and it's very easy to use. You just charge it it up and after it's charged up you set it on its different settings and away it goes now you can set this thing to automatically go around your house clean the whole house and if your floor is completely cleaned off of everything it'll work really really good it'll simply go around the entire house until it covers the entire house um, unfortunately it won't climb stairs at this time I believe that module is coming up in the future where it just you know it jet lifts and flies up to the second floor and begins its mission but that version is on the Jetson side of things and we just haven't got there yet but for now if you're a single story thing it's all flat you can do the entire house just offsetting this up and what's really crazy is check this out I had a lot of cords on my floor and even though the cords were on the floor this vacuum cleaner was still able to go and vacuum. It kind of would pick the cord up for a second, but then it would go on its merry way and leave the cord. So even if you're a person who kind of has some cords on the floor, it'll still actually do your floor. There'll probably be a few spots where it just can't get past it, because as you can see, it won't really go past those particular cables. But I mean, if you have to have cables wherever you're doing it and you still want to get it clean, this particular product will actually do it, and it will do a whole house before you need to actually change the filter out. Now, the filter is located conveniently right here on top so on top you just pull this little thing out right here and you empty it out and like I said even though this isn't enough to like do days of vacuuming if you use it quite often and set it on like an automatic thing it'd be great so pretty much you could charge it a couple days a week just let it run on its own your whole house will be clean it really really does work well especially on the hardwood floors it picked that stuff up really good and also interesting thing is there's brushes on the bottom of the unit on the unit there's a bunch of different brushes and a scrubber as well so not only do you get the brush that brushes all the dirt up and it actually pushes it up you get these two other things that if it brushes up and makes it to go away it actually spins it back and makes it go up into the vacuum cleaner so it's actually really efficient and charging up the D-Bot is also very easy it actually comes with its own little charging station which you just plug it into and when it's charged up you're good to go as far as controlling the D-Bot, it can be done in a couple of different ways. On the top of the D-Bot, you'll see there's a little button that says Auto on it. So you can actually turn it on, it'll start automatically working once you engage that button. But if you want to have full control, there's actually an app that you can download either onto your iOS or your Android device and completely control the vacuum through there. You can set up parameters, you can set it up to do whatever you need it to do and it'll do it all through that particular app, which is really cool. So I mean, even if you're not home, 
home and you can still be connected to your Wi-Fi at home, you can access the vacuum. So you could literally be in New York and all of a sudden go, oh my God, I need to vacuum my house. I got guests come, uh, coming over. Engage the app, vacuum your floor, and before they get there, the little robo guy will do its job for you. Now this particular product is a little bit pricey. It's about $400. but there is a lot of advantages to this. Like I said, if you're a person, all right, let's just go another route even. Like particularly right now, I cannot walk. You guys know that I had surgery on my foot, which is one of the reasons also I kind of took this product because I figured, okay, upstairs, it's not as cluttered as it is down here. And for me to get my vacuuming done, this little thing right here works perfect because it does work on carpet very well. So if you're a person out there, you're crippled or whatever, and you have a floor that's clean as stuff, but you still want to keep it nice and clean, this product is still simple to use. All you got to do is just make sure that you change out the filter and keep all that stuff clean and it'll give you probably a long, 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 long life of usage. Has a pretty good warranty to it. So um, the company's pretty easy to work with. Um, Amazon actually has sold a lot of these particular products. Obviously it is kind of a niche product. It's like, hey, you know, either you need it or you don't. But in a lot of cases, Having this ability and it to be automatic to vacuum up your house and do all that stuff is actually really, really nifty. Um, like I said at the beginning, I kind of wanted to scoff at it. I didn't think it would work as well as it does, but it does work very, very well. So I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like I said, Black Friday is coming tomorrow. Today's Thanksgiving Day for all the people out there in America. I wish you guys the very, very best. God bless you. For all the Native American people in the world, or I mean, I'm, and I don't mean this if, if that's offensive, I don't mean it anyway because I know they don't want to like to be called Indians. I think that's more offensive. So all the Native American people, um, obviously God bless you um, and I hope you're having a wonderful time as well with your families and everything. You deserve a lot more than you have. I'll just say that from the bottom of my heart. You should own a lot more of America than you do because this is really your country. That's just the bottom line of it. Past all the bullshit or anything, trying not to get emotional, but that's really it. This land belongs to them. We are really all just guests. I'm glad Glad to be here so thank you very much um, everybody stay out there stay safe stay happy eat good enjoy the food enjoy your family and if you're looking for some crazy gifts hey like i said we'll have links down below for all of this stuff and scd key is having their black friday sale tomorrow we'll have links to that as well so if you want to get some discount and get some stuff on the cheap check it all out peace out god bless you stay safe